Hey everyone, my name is Alicia Bedwell. I know that you normally know me as Becky or as some other character that I play, but right now and lately I have been doing stuff for Joy Television, like modeling. Today I'm super under the weather and I really just kind of want to let everyone know right now I don't feel good at all, but I have to be on TV. So I'm gonna give you some tips on if you're not feeling too well, but you still need to look pretty, this is what you can do. And yes, I normally use these products even if I'm feeling great, but today, again, I'm under the weather. So I thought this would be great. Let's just do it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can flip this little camera doodad around. Maybe I can't. Anyway, these are my products that I use and they're all backwards now because I couldn't flip the camera. But this is just a quick little glimpse as to what I use on my face. And it doesn't really take that long to do. But I do like to start with the base. And what I use is the IT. Well, right now, I use lots of different products. I'm a product junkie and I love to try new things. So if you guys are out there and you wanna send me something, go for it, I'll try it. And then I'll do a little tutorial on it. So right now you can see my nose is red because I've been blowing it. I have some little acne scarring spots and I have no eyes and it looks like I'm dying, literally. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of this on and cover my nose up. I'm not really used to doing my makeup like this on camera. Oh, see, I mean, the, no the nose is just going to run. And I like to kind of get in between my eyebrows and I have a few little spots right just on the sides. So modeling for Joy Television is really fun. I absolutely enjoy what I do, but we use lots of different um, techniques as models. Me, Amy Malak, and Malak may walk in here at some point, um, and she may even want to join in and show you what she does. Um, she's much younger. Not, I'm not better at all. She's much younger, so she may have some different tips and Amy one of my great girlfriends and model she may have some different tips because guess what we all have different skin types and we all like different products so I just got done kind of applying whoop, this it's got 50 SPF in it love it a lot love the it products I'm kind of into it right now now I'm gonna go to the it celebration wait yeah celebration foundation sorry I can't read and I also have a Bare Minerals brush. Sorry, Bare Minerals, but um, sometimes your stuff makes me look really greasy on camera. It could just be me. But I'm just going to put a little powder all around. I don't want too much. And I like to pat it in. Just because I feel like I get better coverage. Just pat. You don't have to have a lot. And I really like to stay away from the under eye area. So, voila, that's done. Blend, 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 blend. And no, I don't have a blending brush, so all you little makeup snobs out there, get over yourself. Um, I don't have that much money, and I'm not gonna go buy a blender when I can just sit here and use my fingers. i have kind of obsessed with this right now. There's makeup on it, but it's Physician's Formula, and it's this great little bronzer palette. I've used it on my eyes, my cheeks. I can use it as a highlighter for my eyes, my cheeks, um, really anything. And so I like to just take a little bit because I don't want to look too shiny or anything on TV. I go over my cheekbones. I go over my forehead, a little bit on my nose, a little bit under, just again to blend. We're blending, blending, blending. And then I take my other Bare Minerals brush, which I love the brushes, and I get the lightest color. See? And then I'm going to put it on the inside of my eye and then gently kind of spread it across my eye, my entire eyelid. Now, if I had a primer for my eye makeup, that would be awesome, but I don't. So I'm just going with it today. This is what I have. And then again, starting from the corner, working my way out. Sometimes if I've got like 
super dry skin, which I usually have a tendency to have that right here, and you can see it. Um, I'll put a little glowing this right there but again I kind of want to stay away from the under part of the eye I don't like to have a ton of makeup there I feel like it accentuates any wrinkle that I have or like sinus issue um, I do have some good stuff that I like let me see if I can find it I don't know if I'm going to use it today hold on and yeah I'm in the dressing room right now ooh ooh Stella love all of their lip products love it this is a primer that I'll use later and here is their amazing, this stays all day, all day. I'm not kidding. And I'll show you guys on like how I do my hair and stuff later as well. Um, this is gonna be a quick video. And again, I was gonna try to show you guys, oh, here it is. Ta-da! Ooh, sorry. Ooh La Lift, it's by Benefit. Now you can just, I like to dab a little bit off just cause it's a lot. And I like to use the same texture as my finger because I feel like it mimics my skin. But you can dab a little bit just under your eye, spread it evenly, and hopefully it will brighten. If it doesn't, up lighting, up lighting, up lighting. Okay. So here we go. Let's do it to this eye. Let's see what happens. Maybe a miracle, maybe not. Probably not. I think I need like a mage miracle today. I don't know what has been going on. But I've had this for like 10 days, so I should probably go to the doctor. Look, I feel like I already look a million bucks. Just kidding. Maybe it's my meds kicking in. I don't know, okay. Well, you can't really tell like a whole, whole lot right here, but I think I can disguise it. I also use little blending brushes, not the expensive ones, because Jimmy Crack Corn, I don't care. And yes, that's a trademark saying, saying of mine. Um, yeah, not doing too much for me. But anyway, um, up lighting, up lighting. So, now I'm going to just kind of tap, tap underneath there, and I'm going to start on my eyes. I forgot my eye palette today, probably because I'm not feeling that great. So, again, I'm just going to kind of use this, the Physician's Formula. And I already did the inner parts of my eyes, so I'm going to start using the outer parts, and I'm going to go darker. So, like the middle shade. And I'm actually going to use this mirror because I can't see, I'm older. So I just kind of start on the middle part and work my way out and out and pat. I have another trick I'll show you when I want to go dark. Cause see a lot of the times the makeup will fall right here. So you can wear something to kind of protect that. Or you can take your little sponge and do this so you can hopefully it won't fall and you're just gonna do this on the other eye too start with the middle work your way out and you again an eye primer is essential but I do not have mine today so you just gotta make it make it work Use whatever you can. I use tissues a lot if I can't have like a blender. But again, I'm just trying to get some depth to my eyes. All right. So I don't even know if that did anything, but it's, it's gonna have to work today. Um, and then I may even try to use this darker color for my eyebrows because they need to stand out. Uh, let's see if it works. Not bad. I, I kind of like to be able to use one palette for everything, so we'll see what it looks like on TV. Hopefully it won't look awful. 
but trying stuff and being and experimenting is always fran freaking tastic. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. Now, sorry, I am going to get a tissue. This is how I get my dark color and like a point. I use a tissue, I know, so expensive, but I place it right here, right where I would like want the point to come up. And let's see what dark color do I have today. I have this, this is from Ulta. This is their essentials. It's called Six Piece Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what the palette colors look like. This is called Hot Shot. So I think I'm gonna try that. that. That should be dark enough. And I like to use kind of like a slanted one so it already has that point to it. Tap, tap, tap. And then I'm gonna kind of dab some of it off so it's not too heavy. And you never wanna like start really heavy when you're patting. So again, just place this where you need it. Yeah, you're gonna see my mirror. And then tap lightly and see what you're getting. And to get that sharp corner, what you're doing is you're tapping along the edge of this napkin, this cheap napkin. So this is like for broke people and it works. I use tissue paper too, like bathroom paper. I'm really, really classy. But do you see how I just got that line? Ta-da! That's how I get my smoky look. That smoky look. So in right now. Whatever. Um, okay, I'm gonna do it again. Try to get the same angle and start slow. Blot if you need to. and then tap the corners. This is where a blending brush will come in really nicely. So I guess you can, you can just blend, blend. But look at that, perfect cat eye. But see, it's not the same. So here we go, this may be like one of those jokes where I sit here and try to get the same eye and I can't. Hopefully it won't be. Y'all stalling. There's my eyes. Okay, so this right here is eyeliner, ladies. This is going to open your eyes, hopefully, if you know how to do it right. I like liquid, and I don't like to use too much because it can look a little overbearing, especially because I have to use fake eyelashes. Fake eyelashes. All right, so again, I'm just gonna pull my eye a little bit and follow the same line that I made for my cat eye. So I'm gonna kind of flip it up and then make a straight line all the way across toward the inner part of my eye. Again, trying to angle this brush up. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll just have to see. This may be a what not to do when you're on cold medication tutorial. Okay, so you just keep going. And I uh, just do a little bit right there. So voila, done. Now see how I got like a little red? If you get a little red from pulling your skin or something, you can just blend. Blend. Just blend. Oh, I have no cheeks though, but I wanna finish my eyes and I really wanna show you guys how to do this. So these are fake eyelashes. I have to wear them all the time. 
I probably could get like the kind that you put on and they grow with your eyelashes or I tried Latisse and totally was allergic to it uh, made my eyes itch something horrible and I haven't tried the Rodan and Fields although I do love their products I have not tried it so I'm just using this little glue and this is the glue it is um, just like lash strip adhesive stuff with aloe this is kind of the hard part because you really want to be precise so I may have to get up I'm not used to doing this but you're gonna to try to place this right on your natural eye line most of the time I can get this pretty pretty close some people use tools I don't again I'm like anti-tool most of the time because I just do not have the time I have two children and that is my main priority um, but I think this is kind of working hopefully and you can just kind of mess with it but yeah so I have eyelashes now now this will dry just give it some time I sometimes really like to use the already black and I'll kind of just mess with them and fluff them up I may even curl them just depending on if I have time so let's do the other one so I take it from the end gently pull it off grab it from the inside and you want to hold it not by the sticky part and then just rub your glue across just like so it's really gross actually but you know you got to do what you got to do make it work you don't want to look gross on TV and if anybody has any more tips for me I'd gladly take them although I kind of feel like I've been doing this long enough Again, I know there's tools out there that you can use, but this is working for me, and um, everyone has their own way of doing things. It's like the great thing about being a human, being a woman, making your own decisions, making your own choices for yourself, and I choose not to use tools or anything else. So, voila, now I just have to apply a little bit of mascara love this best brand ever this is Too Faced better than sex Ooh, mascara and I'm just gonna judge now um, that didn't really dry so this one should be dry and I don't need much I just want my bottom eyelashes to kind of pop now And you work your way from the bottom to the top. Okay, and this one should be pretty dry now. I have tried so many products though, and I will tell you that this has been probably one of the best mascaras. And if it's not dry, like some, sometimes this is not dry. My eyelashes are not dry. I just gotta go with it. Gotta go with it. And you gotta make it work. So I'm just gonna kind of pull it down. Pull my eyelash down. Here we go. Now I'm gonna kind of do the tips of my eyelashes. Really make sure I have the bottoms. And now I'm gonna add just a little bit of blush. A little bit. Now it depends on what studio I'm in. 
but most of the time, since I've already used this kind of like bronzer, again, I don't really like to put it on my forehead. If I am, I'm gonna use one that is a matte. Don't do that to your forehead. So you could do the matte on your forehead. And I like this stuff. This is Hula by Benefit. It's a great bronzer. Just make sure to bring it down your neck. Make sure whatever you're doing to blend with whatever you want to blend with and pull it down all the way down so even if you're wearing like something that's a low neck i'm gonna have to take all this off and get dressed here in a little bit but um you're gonna want to bring this down because you're gonna want it flow so anyway favorite 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 all-time favorite blush it's called orgasm it's by nars just tap smile Get your apples and go up. This isn't really contouring. You know, I can sometimes if I want to, but today I'm just not feeling it. I'm just gonna put it on. And do you see how I'm like just tapping my nose? I'm gonna bring this down too. Smile. Mm-hmm. Smile. Smile. And then lips. So I always kind of wipe them off. I'm using a tissue. Most of the time, I use a wet washcloth. But again, I don't have a ton of time here. So this is that Stella. It's Lush Lips Water Plumping Primer. And I think it just kind of helps keep all the lipstick in place. So, and I think it helps from any of the lipstick going to your creases if you're a little bit older. By the way, don't smoke, it's gross. All it does is cause wrinkles, which are not cute. And you may think, yeah, I'll get wrinkles or I'll just get Botox. You better have a really good job if you're gonna do that because it costs a lot of money. So just don't abuse your body. Don't drink too much, don't smoke at all. But um, eventually you may learn the hard way and I don't know where I'm going with this, um, but just don't smoke, it's gross, it's disgusting. Okay, so I have my primer on, and then I'm gonna go with a nude lip today. This is the Stella, this is the All Day Stay All Day, or it's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, and this is Perla, and it matches my skin tone pretty good. So I'm just gonna pat the Perla on my lip -off. And make sure to get uh, all around the edges. This really will stay all day. Thank you, Jesus, for Stella. I love it. My sister doesn't like it, but this is my secret. So I don't have to keep reapplying. Now if I wanna put like a little bit of gloss on, I can. But anyway, this is the like final product. Hmm. Voila. Thank you, ladies and gents. Um, next week, we're doing a huge red carpet show all weekend. So I'll show you how I did this in less than probably 25 minutes. So hair and makeup, 25 and 25, maybe 20 minutes with the tutorial. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching and subscribe. Bye. Oh, watch JTV. I'm on Personalized Style with Misty. She is amazing, and we have some great product. And if you want a sneaky peeky, here we go. Here's the show plan. None of your business, though. You're gonna have to stay tuned because my favorite, which is blue Ethiopian opal, dying, 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 yes, is gonna be on and it's mixed with some black spinel, so perfecto. All right, love you guys, have a great day. Mwah.